Someone get that door. Okay, okay, I'm coming for Christ's sake. Can I play with Jenny, please? She. She can't, darling. Jenny's not here anymore. Yes, she is. I'm so sorry, darling. Jenny's gone to heaven. No, she's not. She's dead. Can I come in and look at her body? I want to play with it. about young angel. Quite frankly, we've behaved you. Shame. Such a lovely day.
find me. Oh, I thought you got lost. <laughs> Got some Chinese takeaway for lunch. Just pop it in the microwave. Oh, before I forget, I collected your pension, sorted your bank out, had me down as signatory, so I took 20 out to pay your gas bill. Oh, well, thank you, dear. Cup of tea? Oh, I can murder one. How's your leg today, Violet? Giving me a jip. I'll change your bandages later if you like. Oh, I would be grateful, love. I don't know what I'd do without you. <laughs> I want to show you something special. Who's that? That's my mother. Oh, she's beautiful. You've mentioned her before. What's her name? Rebecca. She used to be a singer on stage. She could have been famous. She died when I was young. Hey, what's wrong, love? I'm just really happy, that's all. Ever since my mum died, I never really had a real family, a real home. Oh, love, you got me now, family. I want you to think of me as your gran. Just me and you. It's your girl, David. Are you sure? DNA confirms it. I thought we'd fixed this. Obviously not. I need this like a hole in the head. Now of all times, for Christ's sake. You've got to understand this is a sensitive and extremely complicated scenario. Oh, really? This is fucking serious, David. It's going to take resources. It's going to mean calling in a lot of old favors. And we will have to use outside agencies. Do what you have to do, Carmen. Make it go away. Kolima has pissed off Al-Qaeda. He took their money and never supplied the goods. So what's new? They want him dead. He doesn't give a fuck. So it's only a matter of time until they get him. We need to keep him alive. To bring him in for interrogation. Look, these are serious people, Kalima. You don't want to mess with them. Look, we... We don't want any accidents. Hey. So why have you been assigned to us? I mean, you're a nice enough guy, but who the fuck are you? Spetsnaz. Ten years as a sniper, five years attached to the SAS, Group 13. Joint Ops, Delta Force, then I was moved into two place. Black Ops. Same outfit, really. Just... Just different bosses. Fucking brilliant. In the Golfian English. Maldito English. Yo tampoco no me gustan los ingleses. Son putos. Shit. It's Junior. He's not supposed to be here.
All right, I want to check it. Of course. I see the money first. I bring it over. You check, okay? Just stay there. You bring it. What? No, no way, no, that's not part of the deal, no way. Junior is gonna be fine. All right, I'm just gonna bring the money, okay? It's in the back. Junior, get back in the car. He stays here. I said, Junior, get back in the fucking car. So he stays here. <laughs> All we want to do is get the munitions and get out of here, okay? I'm going to take the plastic. All right? It's good! Go, go, go! go. Sorry about your black friend. Sorry about your teeth. Tell me all about you. You're a good girl, Angel. I'll pop by next week. Bye. You old bitch. You fucked it up now, you pig! What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? I'll give you what's fucking wrong! <laughs> well, what do you say? Sorry, Gagran. You carry on the way I'm going, girl, and you'll end up buried in the garden with your rotting sister. Now, I want you to get out the bath, get dressed quick, because your Uncle Tommy is on his way round with his friends for a party. What's the matter with her? Says she don't want to do it anymore. Says she don't feel well. Oh. Is that right, Grandma? Yes, Tommy. Getting a real cheeky bitch, aren't you, Angel? Getting a bit above your station. Thinks she's too good to go to the party. What's the matter, Angel? Still moping about your sister, are you? He was a Roman. Wouldn't do as she was told. Threatened to tell. You know what happens to people who tell Angel, don't you? Huh? You know what happens to people who tell Angel? People who tell! We chopped them to fucking pieces! Now! Go in there and do what you need to do. Or I'll take you down the garden and bury you with your sister. All right! You told that perverted fuck up of a priest about Angel. 
Do you know what happens to people who tell? Do you? We chop them to fucking pieces. That's what happens when you mess with the SAS old bean. Fuck you. I'd say you're the one who's fucked, Kalima. Murder, conspiring and supplying arms and explosives to terrorists. We got some very nice conversations from the bugs in your houses and cars and caught you red-handed with the goods. You're not getting out of here, you know that. Recommended 30 years, at least. I do a deal. I know what people will trade for what's up here. I know you'll do a deal. We're depending on it. You will get a sentence reduction and an extradition exemption to the US and who knows where else. In fact, it's already been agreed upstairs. I can have you shipped out in five minutes. Fuck you. I get asylum. You will be on a plane tonight. No one will know or give a flying fuck, I can assure you. You've no idea who you've pissed off. No. I want you to take a look at these. If you were looking for a deal, I want you to confess to these murders. I need you to be a good girl. Keep your mouth closed. Can't have you telling now, can we? That's better. Ooh. Keep your mouth nice Terrible night, isn't it, Violet? Okay, back there. It's gonna be such a fun party. Won't be long till we're there now. I can't wait for you to meet my guests. Be afraid. You can join the party now. Seems that Russian guy, Stevens, has taken to you. Seems he put a good word into the top brass and wants you on a mission. Fifteen years ago, a ten-year-old girl called Angel Poe was convicted of double murder. 
It was big news at the time. I remember it. The entire country was appalled by the ferocity of the attacks. People couldn't come to terms with the fact that a ten-year-old girl could tear off her grandmother's face and hack her best friend to pieces. This diabolical child was to be detained indefinitely at Her Majesty's pleasure, never to see the light of day. And that was that. Whilst in prison, she was befriended by a young up-and-coming pain in the ass MP who saw himself as some philanthropic knight in shining armor. He was a bright politician with extremely powerful connections and he campaigned internally for her release. All very hush, hush. Angel Paul died in prison two years ago. I remember reading about it. So what? She didn't die in prison, Bradbury. We faked her death, gave her a new identity, and let her out into society. Well, if we can do it for the Bulger murderers and Myra Hindley. Anyway, all was well for the first year or so. She was under the best supervision, who made sure that she was integrated back into society. But then things took an unexpectedly nasty turn. Angel Pole disappeared without a trace. Until this. She was responsible for these deaths. Fingerprints confirm it. Took a hell of a job to bury the evidence, I can tell you. Try explaining to the media that the victims were butchered by a convicted killer who died two years ago in an institution. Oh, my God. Kalima. I was in court when he confessed to these murders. I don't get it. Scapegoat. Why am I here? If it gets out that we released Angel Pole to go on a killing spree, it could quite possibly bring down the government. How's that? You see, the bright young politician who took such a shine to Angel Pole is ardently tipped to be our next Prime Minister. neck of the woods then I'm looking for someone a relation any luck I'm close well I might be able to help you if you like I mean I know everybody around there not that that says much in this shy tone it's okay really I think I've tracked him down not an easy job though I thought I might pop in surprise him one day be nice, that. So come and then tell me all about yourself. But you're not half as boiling as folk round here. Look, I think I've been very civilised with you, OK? But to be honest, I'm beginning to lose my temper. You're stopping me doing my job. 
This is a scene of crime. I'm a police officer. What's up, Mark? Oh, it's like the scene out of Doctor Who. What do you mean? Well, this prick won't let me through to the crime scene. Says it's a military matter. Yeah, all right, calm down. I'm looking for Bradbury. Bradbury? Detective Chief Inspector Lapsley. This guy won't let us through. Have a fucking word, would you? I'd like to see the crime scene before you lot march all over it. Fine. We surveyed the area around the body. There's no marks, no tyre tracks. It's clean. I've been here for a couple of days. Elderly female, I think. But I can't be sure until I take about for tests. Why? Is that it? Wait, so, sir. Fuck me. Where's the rest of her? I can't believe they can see people like that nowadays. Nor did I. It's after you out just like that. Gave me two weeks. I wasn't on my grand's rent book. And she passed away, they said they wanted to give it to some family of asylum seekers, and that was that. Bloody hell. So where are you staying now, then? Nowhere at the moment, but I'll find somewhere. Hey, have you got a job? No, but... Look, I don't know my auntie who owns a B&B near the seafront. It's quiet this time of year, but I know she's looking for a cleaner. You can put in a word if you like. Oh, I don't know. Seriously, it's not a problem, I promise you. Hey, I'm sure she'll even put you up as part of the deal. To be honest, she'd be glad of company. Ah, she's a good old girl. You love her. I got a phone call in the middle of the night from Top Brass telling me that I am now working with military singles with my assistant, who is understandably quite spooked. I'm told to fully cooperate and under no circumstances ask any questions. And? And I'm asking a question. What the fuck is going on? Detect. Don't give me any of that's a military matter shit. I was you want me to cooperate, then you tell me what the fuck is going on. I was going to say that I respect your position and that any information that you need, you'll get. But if you continue talking to me like a piece of shit, I'm going to rip your fucking balls off and shove them down your throat. You want another drink? Sure. All right, then. Well, you seem like a nice girl, Angel. I'll take it on and give you the month's trial, see how you get on. I can't pay you much, but I can feed you. Give you the room till you get on your feet. Thanks. George, show Angel where the swallow sweet is. OK, aren't they? Get your head down. Must be tired. Start work in the morning. Where's the rest of your bags, Angel? Oh, this is it. You wouldn't get a pair of shoes in there. <laughs> Where's the rest of your things? Stolen. Stolen? Where from? I'm not sure. Not sure? Well, it was on the train. I fell asleep. And uh, when I woke up, my bags were gone. Didn't you report it to the police, love? No. Why ever not? Because I didn't think it was worth it. I mean, they never do anything anyway. <sighs> I'll give you an advance in the morning. Go and get yourself some clothes and things. There's loads of clothes shops on the seafront. I'll report to the police in the morning. Might turn up. Hmm. So, what do you think? Look, if you, uh, if you need anything, just, just give me a shout, yeah? My room's just upstairs. Yeah, I tell you what, why don't you come meet me from work tomorrow? Work at the pier, knock off at about eight. We could go for a drink and a bite to eat, if you like. Yeah, that'd be nice. Well, um, leave you to it, then, yeah?
Fuck me. I know. It's explosive stuff, but I don't see where I fit in it. This happens all the time. People at the top fuck up and we're left to clean up the mess. We need you to find Angel and bring her back to us. But it's not going to be easy. The cover-up's already started, so expect to find a lot of closed doors and dead ends. Suppose we do find her. How'd you keep a lid on all of this? I mean, I'm bound by the official secret act, but she isn't. Throw in a military psych ward, I guess. No one will ever see from her or hear from her again. Breakfast, dear. Oh, I'm not hungry, thanks. What are you looking for? I can help you find it. No, you're all right. Found it. Transport, please. Oh, it's only an old bag, Auntie. Just let it go. Hello? I wish you'd report it there. I said, let it fucking go! I need a shower. Be my guest. Oh, I'm dying. Here we go. I think we'll take mine. Yeah, well, I won't argue. Just take it easy. I'm feeling rather delicate today. All right. Where are we going anyway? To CM? <laughs> Maybe. Mind if oh. I put some music on? Yeah, I do mind. All right. What are you doing? We're going backwards. Would you stop fucking about? Jesus! Stick. All right. Okay, watch that car. What's up, Mark? Got to charge your phone again. I've been trying to get you all morning. That Bradbury's a bit tasty, didn't you, Gov? Lovely art. Yeah, Mark, we're just, we're on the hands-free oh. talk. We have a leak. An old girl reported missing by a priest. Blood found in the house. Yeah, where? I want to be moved to a nicer prison. What? You got me here to ask me that? No. Been talking to some friends in here. They say you fucked me up. But some very clever people in here. They say if I go to the papers, I make big money to tell my story. You hear what I'm saying, boss? If you think you can blackmail me, you've got another thing coming. Not blackmail. Boss man, it is a fact. It's a category A shit, man. Locked up for 23 hours a day. The lights on all night. All I want is to be moved. Easier ride. Is that such a big deal? I'll think about it. <laughs> That's right, big boss. You think about it. <laughs> okay. I think I get the picture. All right, so we can see exactly what's happened. I mean, it doesn't take Sherlock Holmes to work it out, does it? She whacked the old girl over the head with the vase and then dragged her off to the bath. Why the bath? It doesn't make sense. What makes sense to her? Have you seen a prison hospital file? 
among other things, her grandmother used to put her in an ice cold bath in the dark as a form of punishment. Went on for hours. Ten year old child, can you imagine? Classically, people who are abused tend to think that the abuse is their fault. I think Angel was trying to please a surrogate grand. I mean, the priest said that she and the old girl seemed extremely happy, didn't they? Mm. So what goes wrong? It's not as simple as that. Like a lot of abuse victims, she has this irrational belief that her abusers were all-seeing and omniscient. Didn't get a second one. Omniscient, that they are like God, can read their thoughts, see their movements. That's possibly why she never told anyone about anything. I think if Angel was pushed into a corner, she might, what we call jump rule, take on the persona of the grandmother rather than be naughty Angel. Pushed how? Well, it could be a simple trigger, a look or a word, but I'll tell you this, she isn't going to stop. And what makes it even more dangerous is that we are dealing with two very different deranged personalities here. Two murderers? So to speak. Angel, the grandmother, and... and who knows what else. Don't ask her, but well, you. You look beautiful. Well, thank you, George. Just give me two minutes, yeah? Funny, tell me some spooky. You don't want to be the one on the own at night looking up. It's like being in one of those bloody other movies, you know, the old. Mm. <laughs> hey, that's it. Now, come on, you. Hey. I can't believe you didn't go with a fifth one on you. I can't believe that. You're gonna, you're gonna regret that. <laughs> what I tell you, eh? Best fish and chips in the world. You fancy a drink? Please. Never really planned it, you know, just sort of fell into it. But I reckon I'll give you one more year in and move up to London. It's all right, Raoul, it just gets a little bit boring. Always was. But you've been here before then? Oh, yeah. Years ago. In another lifetime. You could come with me if you like. Where? To London. I'd like that. Would you really? I feel a bit tipsy. Yep, me and all. And after knocking back here, you're drinking me under the table. You're buying them. Bet you're hoping to get me drunk and have your wicked way with me. The thought never even crossed my mind. You happy? I've never been so happy, George. Well, it's getting late. We better be getting back. No, not yet. 
I don't want to go back yet. I want to stay here with you. I'm flat. Well, you need another drink. What do you want? I want to have sex. What? Have sex. Me and you. I want to have sex with you. Why leave a severed arm without the body? I mean, carrying around a body is really hard. And why take her so far away from the old lady's house? I think she's trying to create a scenario where she feels in control. Happens in a lot of cases. Killers like Bundy or Dennis Nielsen kept the bodies of their victims for sex or just for plain company. She's carting the victims around for a reason. Like what? Most serial killers leave something behind a murder scene. Like a cry for help. It's like they want to be caught, need to be caught. Who knows? Finding her. Oh, fuck it. Anyway, let's just talk to someone else, eh? You okay? It was beautiful. You were so kind to me. So gentle. I could be with you for the rest of my life. You'd love London, you know. I love big cities. We could just go. Now. What, like a lope? You're joking. I'm not, George. We could just get on a train now. Just you and me. Nobody would ever know and nobody would ever care. Well, I don't think my auntie would agree with you. Blimey, you've only been here one night, you'll have a fit. Oh, is that the time I'm late for work already? How'd you get on, by the way? With what? With auntie. Oh, fine. She wouldn't care if we ran away. She'd be happy. Trust me, you don't know me, aunt. You slut. You've done it now, bitch. Got to do it quick before he tells me. No. No, go away. Hey, what's up, love? You all right, Angel? Yeah. I'm just talking to myself. You get off to work. I've got to help Auntie do some cleaning up. All right, when I finish at six, I'll meet back here, yeah? Oh, no, I'll come pick you up at the arcade. I love you, George. I'd never let anyone hurt you. Anyone. To startle you. Shit. So, I told you. 
do what you have to do. I don't want to know. You can't just bury your head in the sand and pretend this never happened. You sanctioned this. It's getting out of hand. These things often do. So what do you want from me? I need your approval. Fine. You have my approval. Don't try and brush me off like I'm one of your sycophantic lickspittles, you piece of shit. People are putting themselves on the line for your fuck-ups. So if we need to take drastic action, I want to make sure you know the consequences. I'm sorry, Jim. I feel like Peter and the fucking dyke. Every time we plug a hole, another one appears. Cause and effect. The way of the world. Do you want me to proceed? What the hell? We're in it up to our necks anyway. Indeed. <laughs> Do you really believe in that? Absolutely, 100%. Really? Yeah. Why? Oh, I've seen too much in this job, no, too. Like what? Well, I believe in death's design. Like, think of the number of random variables it takes to get murdered. Right? Like, I'm just trying to make conversation. I'm sorry, I... No, no, no. Think, think about it. The, the infinite circumstances, the sequence of events it takes to create a serial killer, and then there's the victim. The right person in the wrong place at the wrong time. Or what? Hey. I'm a police officer, what? Give it back to him. Ow! Fuck off! <laughs> I've lived here all my life and never learned to swim. It's mad, isn't it? It's not normal. Of course it is. A bit like living in London and never going to Buckingham Palace. <laughs> yeah, when you put it like that. George. I'm going to leave here soon. I want you to come with me. We can go to London. We can go to Timbuktu if you want, but... I want us to be together. It's not as easy as that. Why? Because... Why do we have to go now? Why can't we just wait till the end of the summer? We'll get to know each other, give ourselves some time. Time's running out. What do you mean? 
George. Just calling Auntie to tell her that we're gonna... Tell her what? That we're gonna be late. You've gone and spoiled it now! Spoiled it! You bastard! Pick up phone. Bradbury. We've got a new lead, Governor. A body's been washed up on the beach near Waldron Pier. And get this, when they went back to the guy's house, they found a dismembered body of an old woman. He was a lucky man. Don't know about lucky, mate. Doesn't even know about his auntie yet. What do you think? I think she's at a critical mass, in the final stages of emotional implosion. Check local CCTV and get her up on camera. We need to see what she looks like now. Patch it through to HQ and let's run it through trap wire. Down, boys. So where the fuck is trap wire? He's a little bit of money. You're a little bit of money. You're a little bit of to people who tell, Angel. People who tell! We chopped them the fucking pieces! Who's there? Who is it? You're Tommy Paul. I was a friend of your niece, Angel. You better come on in. I'm I'm changed. I'm not the same man in these pictures. I'm in a different life now. You, you tried to blackmail me. Tried to spoil my life. 
<laughs> but it won't work out. <laughs> I'm friends in high places. You want some money? I've got savings. I'll buy the photos. <laughs> I'll give you all the photos. I'll give you all the films. But I want you to do something. For the memory of Angel. <laughs> What's that then? I've got some friends. Some young friends. I want you to come to a party. We fed in some old CCTV footage taken of the subjects in the prison hospital, then fed in some random photos and some identifics taken from recent witnesses and converted it into digital data. We fed it into Trapwire, who analyzed the info and turned it into metadata. Trapwire then ran a search into all online CCTV in areas where the related crimes occurred and came up with this. She used the victim's credit card to purchase clothes and withdraw cash from various hole-in-the-wall machines. They all have hidden cameras. So, bingo. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what Angel looks like now. Did we know that for sure? We should have changed the identity again. This was taken a couple of hours ago. Well. 94 minutes ago, in fact. This is the last known location. What have you brought me back here for? The party room. You remember? Come on. to the party room. You know the way. Go on. If you do not look at the screen, I'll take some more fingers. Look at the screen. Look at the screen. What did you do with the body in the garden? The police didn't find it. Where is Angel's sister? When Angel's mother died, her sister ran away. We just told him we buried it to frighten her. It was Iris's idea. She told she thought we frightened her enough. She would join in the parties. Never tell. It was Iris. Is that so? Mm. Tell your old grandma, Tom. <laughs> Look who's telling now, Tom. You know what happens to people who tell. <laughs> First you. Then I'll go find that bitch angel. 
and then we'll be one big happy fucking family. Excuse me, sir. Have you seen this woman about? No, I haven't. Yeah. Okay. Well, look, keep the picture, yeah. Excuse me, sir. Uh, have you seen this woman about? My old Tommy at the help of the there, mate. Just over yeah, there, yeah? yeah just over right, there. Hit the boat, okay? Yeah. Pass it around. Hello? This is no coincidence. It's definitely her. She's got the girl. She's moving towards meltdown. Confirmed fingerprints on help scout photos. We're angels. No one can hide everything. Not even Her Majesty's government. Absolutely. So what are you doing? I fed in the photos of the house into an image comparison program. Kuka Ujasa. What? Kucha Ujasa. That's Croatian for House of Horrors. And the story has a location. I'll have an address in a minute. No, come on. Just give me a minute. Bullseye. Punch it into the car. Lapsley. Read that. We need to talk. You've got to be honest with me. Mark found some photos in the uncle's place, and one of them somebody's lifted their mask. We've got a face. Why didn't you tell me? Well, I didn't tell you because we were both a bit disturbed and a bit scared. Scared? Of what? Well, that's just it. We don't know. Mark thought he recognised the face, did some digging. Turns out this guy died in mysterious circumstances a few years back and he's related to a prominent cabinet minister. It's David Blunt's brother, for fuck's sake. What? This is some serious shit, Bradbury. What the hell is going on? I didn't know. They never told me. Who? Who never told you? Hmm? I don't like this one bit. I never signed on for some paedophile ring cover-up. Neither did I. We're in this together. Are we? We're on the same side. We were never on the same side. I find criminals and bring them to justice. You find people and kill them. Look, right now... Don't bullshit me, Look, right now. Look me in the eye and tell me the truth. When we find Angel, what's going to happen to Mark and me? Hmm? Are we going to be found in mysterious circumstances? Some suicide in the woods like David Kelly? Look, I don't know exactly what's going on, but you have to trust me. I'll make this my priority to personally protect you both. But right now, there's a little girl who needs our help. You've got to be kidding me. All right, I'm going to go in the back and do a recce. Oh, not without me. This is what I do. Don't worry. If I need you, I'll call.
Anita, it's okay, don't worry. I'm gonna leave this on your mouth for just a little while longer while I get us out. Angel's been a bad girl. Time to put her in the fucking garden. Get away from her, you bitch! Taking him. Relocation. There mustn't be any ties to this person. Well done, Bradbury. Schoolgirl Anita Penny is still missing after nine days, and police currently have no leads as to her whereabouts. Yeah? It's been over a week now. What's going on? You tell me. This is so weird. And you haven't heard anything from your side yet? Well, the police. Not a word. I I'm really frightened. I'm getting paranoid. I don't think I can keep this up. I've got to say something to someone. Mark, I need you to leave your house. Listen to me, this is very important. Don't tell anybody. Just disappear until I can get this sorted out, OK? OK. Mark, get in. Ben Bear wants to see you. I'm not glad to see you. Jesus! How did you get in here? You lied to me. Where's the girl? She's safe. We're holding her. You better get on that phone and prove it, or you're going out the fucking window. Where is she then? Over there. Where? By the tree line. Go on, Mark. It's okay. Go on. What's up? I'm telling you it's going to be okay. I'm coming with you. Go on. Bradbury? Are you there? What are you doing? I'm 
Sorry, Mark. Please. Please, we're friends. We don't need to do this. <laughs> I haven't done anything wrong. Imagine the damage done to the country if this ever got out. The repercussions would be catastrophic. Cabinet minister's celebrity brother and pedophile ring. The ring involved people from the highest echelons of society. It had to be quashed for the defense of the realm. Everyone was expendable. Blunt even sanctioned his own brother's death for crying out loud. Then why campaign for Angel's release? <laughs> Blunt's noble fucking cause. Guilt! He felt he had to make amends for the damage done to the child. We were assured that she was safe to release back into society. She knew the deal. Keep her mouth shut and return for a new life, but the whole thing went tits up. Fine. Kill Angel. But why let her uncle live? Had us over a barrel. Evidence hidden away all over the place. We couldn't take the risk. Oh, for goodness sake, Bradbury. She's an innocent ten-year-old girl with a civilian family. She has to be rehabilitated before we can inject her back into the system. You expect me to believe that? It's immaterial what you believe, Bradbury. You've done your job, you'll get your promotion and you'll move on. So you want me to sit here quietly and pretend like none of this is happening? You know how it works, girl. She's collateral damage, it's part of what we do. You've seen it in the field. Iraq, Afghanistan, it's all the same. It's not the same. Is she dead? Did you make her disappear like Lapsley and Angel? Look. Is she dead? No, no. Prove it! You see this? I want you to remember this. This is your worst fucking nightmare. I don't understand. It contains my video deposition and every scrap of information I could find on this case. Secret documents, trap wire footage, photos. All right, get out. Hey, uh... If you run, I'll blow your fucking brains out. Come on, honey. Come on. I'm gonna take you home. Come on, good girl. It's okay. Good girl. Get him. and listen along with your deviant group of comrades. I know what I'm about to do will probably be twisted by some immoral, corrupt government spin doctor into an act of treason. The way she moves, fucking arrogance. She knows she's on track, why? She knows we're watching. Stevens is missing, presumed dead, as is Mark, and fuck knows who else. Am I next on the list? People like you are a cancer. You shouldn't be allowed to run this country. You should be locked in cages. Right, that's it. Come on, take her out. 
Engage target. Take the shot. I'll gladly lay down my life for the defense of the realm. But I draw the line when I'm asked to cover up for paedophiles, the lowest life forms on the planet. So deal's off, friend. Game's over. I'm blowing the fucking whistle. Engage, engage. Engage! Take the fucking shot! the offices of World News International 10 days ago. Detectives have said the shooting bears all the hallmarks of a professional hit. And now over to the sports desk for news of today's football. Blunt, we have a problem. A pattern's emerged. This is the third murder. It's your girl, David. Are you sure? DNA confirms it. I thought we'd fixed this. Obviously not. I need this like a hole in the head. Now of all times, for Christ's sake. You've got to understand this is a sensitive and extremely complicated scenario. Oh, really? This is fucking serious, David. It's going to take resources. It's going to mean calling in a lot of old favors. And we will have to use outside agencies.
Do what you have to do, Carmen. Make it go away. Kolima has pissed off Al-Qaeda. He took their money and never supplied the goods. So what's new? They want him dead. He doesn't give a fuck. So it's only a matter of time until they get him. We need to keep him alive. To bring him in for interrogation. Look, these are serious people, Kalima. You don't want to mess with them. Look, we... We don't want any accidents. Permite que esto haga bien y le pida mento, mi amigo. Wait. So why have you been assigned to us? I mean, you're a nice enough guy, but who the fuck are you? Spetsnaz. Ten years as a sniper. Five years. It's only me. Oh, I thought you got lost. <laughs> Got some Chinese takeaway for lunch. Just pop it in the microwave. Oh, before I forget, I collected your pension, sorted your bank out, had me down as signatory, so I took 20 out to pay your gas bill. Oh, well, thank you, dear. Cup of tea? Oh, I can murder one. How's your leg today, Violet? Giving me a jip. I'll change your bandages later if you like. Oh, I would be grateful, love. I don't know what I'd do without you. <laughs> I want to show you something special. Who's that? That's my mother. Oh, she's beautiful. You've mentioned her before. What's her name? Rebecca. She used to be a singer on stage. She could have been famous. She died when I was young. Hey, what's wrong, love? I'm just really happy, that's all. Ever since my mum died, I never really had a real family, a real home. Oh, love, you got me now, family. I want you to think of me as your gran, just me and you. Shame. Such a lovely day.
Christ's sake. Can I play with Jenny, please? She... She can't, darling. Jenny's not here anymore. Yes, she is. I'm so sorry, darling. Jenny's gone to heaven. No, she's not. She's dead. Can I come in and look at her body? I want to play with it. about young angel. Quite frankly, we've Off your head. Oh, someone get that door. Okay, okay, I'm coming. 